Hello guys, it's Lilia here and today we're going to discuss the subject of hobbies. I recommend that throughout this video you keep this little vocabulary book next to you right on your desk so you could write things down as they come up so you could enrich your English vocabulary and that will make you more confident when you'll be speaking in your IELTS interview test. I like to think of myself as an apt person when it comes to hobbies, which means that I literally love learning new things and I try to pack as much new skills into my brain as I can on a daily basis. I try to be a multi-dimensional person, so I wouldn't necessarily go for one thing when it comes to hobbies, apart from my specialisation, of course, which I was very lucky enough to turn into my passion and my everyday job. I've always had this knack for writing, so creative writing would definitely have to be something that I keep doing on a regular basis and I've recently discovered that you don't necessarily need to get paid for doing something that you love and you could just basically do things that you love without being paid for them, if that makes sense. I've recently taken up painting and, well, um, for now, that is purely therapeutical to me and I don't know how it turns out in the end but this is something I adore doing in my free time and I really want to know more about it so I spent quite a lot of time learning on the internet. As I've said a little bit earlier, I really love writing, so this is something I've been gravitating towards throughout my life. And I don't think I was particularly encouraged to take up the arts when um, I was at school because grades and accolades were just normally put me off various things that I think I could benefit from doing. So when I grew up and I've turned into a sort of an adult, I started trying out various things and by trial and error, I've managed to work out a few things that I'd really like to try in my um, daily routine. And painting being one of them, also photography, fashion, doing a little bit of modelling, reading, fantasy writing, everything like that. I would say that DIY um, would have to be a difficult task for me. Anything DIY connected would have to be a real, real rocket science to me, if I'm honest. I tried playing snooker when I was 18, didn't go very well. I knew that I had to learn quite a lot, but that was something that I didn't have any practical or hands-on experience in. So I literally had to study on the internet without having a practical opportunity to go out there and test out the knowledge that I had accumulated online. So because it wasn't particularly motivating, I quit um, learning snooker, uh, not to mention playing snooker, but I hope one day I'll get back to it and um, the knowledge, the theoretical knowledge I accumulated back then in my teenage years will help me do a little bit better than I would if I hadn't acquired that type of knowledge though. My husband nudged me into biking and although I wasn't particularly encouraged to do sport at school or hand and heart to be frank, I think I was a little bit lazy to do sport at school, I learned that sport could be really cool in, in daily life. So this is something I've taken up and now we tend to crisscross the countryside at the weekends whenever we can spend a little bit of free time together and turn this into our quality family time because as you're riding along a country path you tend to meditate a little bit it happens in your brain very naturally and this is something we all need in, a, in this day and age I believe We're living in the world where it's very easy to work yourself into a frenzy. So everyone is saying you need to be the best possible version of yourself. So this is something I've been trying to do for quite a long time. But I assume that certain people might choose to have hobbies because they might be um, 
they may be having um, a spiritual pursuit so they may really want to open up and unearth their potential or they may just really want to do something in in their own good time at their own pace where they just have a little bit of spare time around their family and friends they may be sharing a hobby or a particular activity with a family member or a close friend and that creates a really strong bond between the two people so I think that would have to be the first and foremost reason why people take up various hobbies in their lives okay so this was me talking about hobbies make sure you write down vocabulary and structures if you choose to put them into a vocabulary notebook plus i have an extra tip for you this week make sure that you group your vocabulary by subject or by topic when you're writing it down i know that lots of expressions could be beautifully used interchangeably throughout a variety of contexts and topics but I think it's very important that you have a certain set of expressions in your head uh, that you could apply to all of those mainstream IELTS topics in your exam. So we have covered three topics so far. We have talked about homes and neighbourhoods, the general questions, and we have also covered a little bit of the hobby questions in this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel, and please go to my other videos to check my other speaking experiments. Plus if you have any topics you crave to be answered make sure you put them into the comment section down below or you could find me on Facebook and throw me a little message saying which topics you'd like to have covered in the upcoming videos of mine thank you very much guys for being such an inspiring community and I hope to talk to you again very very soon in the nearest future bye